The wingman. Tough as nails and that one gun we've all had issues with. The one that for a lot of us, we could never get to work the way other guns do. Well, if I do my job correctly, that my friends ends today. What's up my dudes, Suit Monkey here, back again, where this time I'll attempt to give you your best shot, no pun intended, of hitting more if not most of your ring my shots. So let's not waste any more time, let's get into it. Now, for many of us, the wingman was always a weird gun. One that you could only use if you had godlike aim, and the one we'd always miss our shots with every time we picked it up. The good news is, however, it's easily one of the most powerful, satisfying, and rewarding guns in the game. But first, you need to commit. The simple truth is that most players avoid it because they're bad with it, and they're mostly bad with it because they avoid it. Now, I'm not going to delve into weapon stats, because not only is it boring, but they're also not set in stone. All you really need to know is that it's a pistol, is super accurate in both hit fire and ADS, and the best part is that it has no effect on your strafing speed. Now, the wingman is notorious for needing precise aim to be effective. Usually, even if you're off by just a hair, your shot will miss, making it extremely high risk high reward and requiring a lot more patience to be effective. This doesn't mean shooting painfully slow, but it does mean you actually need to aim instead of spraying and praying. Now, even though medium to close range is where the wingman truly excels, it's actually flexible enough to be effective at long range. Targets that are far away basically require you to use your wingman like a sniper rifle, essentially leading your shots and accounting for bullet drop. However, the part we're really interested in is being effective at medium to close range, the wingman's forte, and also where we miss most of our shots. So what's the secret behind using the wingman effectively? <coughs> Stop flicking your shots. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, I know, that sounds kinda weird, but let me explain. Where a lot of us tend to go wrong is treating the wingman as a quote-unquote flicking weapon, and thus swiping rapidly between each shot. Normally, the term flick makes most of us think about snapping from point A to point B, stopping on a dime and pulling the trigger at that precise moment. This might work if your opponent is standing still, but when moving, consistency becomes a problem. I'm gonna take a guess and assume that if you have issues with the wingman, there's a really high chance you also hate using a hemlock and a prowler. The root cause stems from one simple fact that most players overlook, and that is, as weird as it sounds, the wingman, and burst guns as well, are still indeed tracking weapons, like the R9, Volt, and R301. The only real difference is how and when you pull the trigger. But before I move on, I need to thank you guys for over 1 million views on the aim guide. That is actually insane, and I would have never thought that a million views was even possible on any of my videos. So thank you so much for the support, and I appreciate all of you. Enough of that, and let's get back to the video. Now, don't get me wrong, when I say stop flicking, what I really mean is to shift to an always be tracking mindset instead. Always be tracking even when doing your flicks, because the number one pitfall of single fire and burst weapons is that we tend to treat flicking and tracking as completely separate, when really both need to work in tandem for the best results. So first, you bring your target as close to the crosshair as accurately as you can, then the difference is you continuously track your target while micro adjusting as needed before each shot. What you'll notice is that while tracking at a macro level, the precision of each successive shot will gradually increase as the need to make large adjustments becomes less and less. To the untrained eye, this might look like flicking between each shot, which is the biggest reason why when we watch pro players and try to emulate their behavior, our results are normally the complete opposite. There's a massive difference between this and this. The ability to track is mainly what separates consistent hits from lucky shots. I say mainly because both trigger discipline and patience are big factors here, because you need to take time to either be on target or close enough to ensure that your micro adjustments aren't going to miss, or at least miss a lot less. When your shots aren't landing the way they should, instead of continuing to dump the whole mag, it's perfectly okay and actually necessary to stop firing, readjust, and start again. I'm sure you've all heard the phrase, slow is smooth and smooth is fast, and the reason it's so popular is because speed means absolutely nothing if your aim is shaky and inconsistent. What I'm really saying is aim mindfully instead of dumping your mag, and always remember it's okay to miss. Everyone, including pros, miss shots. It's really about hitting more than you miss overall. Now, a quick note for those who maybe don't know, don't gimp yourself by not using a pay to win skin because even though it's not necessary, there's no point in using a skin that pretty much blocks your target. This goes for every gun. For the wingman specifically, death ray, merciless wing, attention to detail, and precision caliber all have neater and less bulky iron sights, which in turn will greatly increase what you can see when ADS'd. And even though it's a small point, this still gives you an extra edge when tracking your targets. Now finally, the last thing you want to account for is the wingman's bullet spread and the time it takes to reset. Now, the wingman does indeed have recoil, but you can pretty much easily get around this by gently pulling down after every shot. Bullet spread, on the other hand, comes into play when we need to hit fire. Basically, the wingman's hip fire is most accurate within 5 meters of your target, or pretty much close range. At this distance, the wingman's bullet deviation while present is still low enough that your shots remain accurate even if you don't ADS. Though at 10 meters and onward, shots become way too unpredictable, at which point you should definitely ADS to tighten your bullet spread. 
also is perfectly fine if you want to remain ADS all the time because like I mentioned earlier, the Bayman has zero effect on your movement speed. It's really up to you what you prefer. Now, your aim won't change overnight, but these tips, along with staying relaxed and not fighting yourself for control between each shot, will most definitely allow you to start using the wingman much more effectively. This does mean you'll have to run the wingman much more often, meaning you will die and you will die a lot, but that's the only way you'll ever improve. In summary, adopt an always be tracking mindset and train yourself to follow your target through every shot, take your time and practice trigger discipline rather than dumping your whole mag as fast as you can, make a habit of relaxing when shooting to eliminate unnecessary tension in your hands, remember it's normal to miss shots so brush it off and don't hold yourself to unrealistic standards, use a skin that doesn't block your vision and finally remember hip firing is an option if you're in close range. Don't worry about flicking and don't worry about speed, just focus on tracking your target. Over time your adjustments will become quicker, more accurate and you'll be able to shoot faster while remaining precise. And that really is the secret behind being effective with the wingman, realizing that every gun, regardless of fire rate, is still a tracking weapon. With that, the Monkeyland Discord community has been going strong for over a year and right now is literally the best time to become part of it because we'll be hosting our first ALGS style Apex tournament on June 11th and signups are currently open. The entire event will be streamed here on YouTube for charity as our community's way of supporting all the displaced families and children currently fleeing their homes in Ukraine. So if you really want to make an impact or just be part of an Apex tournament, this is your chance to do both. Besides that, we have regular movie nights, events, resources, a community of members who are always willing to help, and also we're in pretty much always online. So if you truly found this information helpful, leave a like so I know you enjoy this style of content and consider subscribing so you don't miss any future videos. It's free and you can always change your mind. All the links where you can find me are in the description below, including the Monkeyland Discord. Thanks for dropping by, have a good one, and see Monkey out. Yeah. It's just that extra level. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. Yeah. God damn, that was clean. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh no. That's gonna be the video. <laughs> oh jeez.